हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर देवेश मिश्रा पैथोलॉजी फैकल्टी एट अन अकेडमी प्लेटफॉर्म हेयर इट्स अ वेरी बिग एंड गुड अनाउंसमेंट फॉर यू ऑल टू ज्वाइन हाई यूल्ड बैच फॉर आई एन आई सी ई टी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी विच इज गोइंग टू हैपन इन नवंबर सो अन अकेडमी हैज स्टार्टेड अ कोर्स विच इज द नेम हाई यूल्ड बैच एंड दिस इज हैज बीन स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम द ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ रिमेंबर दिस हैज बीन स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम द ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑफ द अक्टूबर एंड इट विल बी रनिंग टिल द फिफ्टींथ ऑफ द नवंबर so you can join this batch it's a very uh, good batch where we will be covering uh, all 19 subjects in a shorter span of time as you can see within 20 days and it will be like a marathon lecture as you used to attend the offline lectures and if you are joining it you can use my name code like a dr devesh 10 as you can see here dr devesh 10 and you will be getting 10% discount for this lecture right now you can see the faculty who are the faculties who are going to take you can see all the good faculties are in front of you they will be taking lecture for you and uh, and the number of hours also you can see it's it will be very concise course only we will be uh, talking about to the point only to the point teaching will be there and you will be having a great advantage for example if you talk about me that pathology i am going to take pathology lecture for 20 hours right so it will be for 3 days 6 hours 6 hours 8 hours so this is the spell so now you can see that within three spells of the <coughs> uh, you know uh, the class you will be having all the important high yielding points with you which will be helping you for INICT it's a kind of revision course which will be helping you to crack this exam and as again i told you the the faculties are class apart and you can see the name of the faculties and number of hours against them so you can have a great advantage of learning with these uh, good faculties or star faculties and if you are joining it you can use my name as a code dr devesh 10 and you will be getting discount for the 10% clear what are the features we are going to uh, provide you in this it's a live interactive classes by all the top educators right and there will be a doubt clearing also there will be a revision session in this and previous year question will be discussed and the best thing is you will have recorded sessions also suppose in case you are having posting and you are not able to attend some sessions right or some hours you are not able to attend then you can see the recorded sessions also if you are missing them in the live lecture and the another great advantage you can take out the pdf after the lecture will be over and half an hour to one hour that entire lecture will be available and you can download that pdf and you can revise so that's a great you know combination you can see the lecture then you can download the pdf and then you can have a simultaneous revision with that thing right so that is a very great advantage so that's why i am saying that you can you can join this confidently it will definitely help you and you are using my name code you will be getting discount also right uh here i i want to discuss two important questions uh you can say that's a kind of guess question which examiner may ask you in your exam right what are the uh, which of the following statement is about uh graph versus host disease is least correct remember the language is very important language is very important occurs when host is immunocompromised so that is a true statement that is a true statement host will be immunocompromised occurs when donor cells are immunocompromised so this is the false statement because donors will be immunocompetent means donors immunity will be good so donor cell immunity will be good whereas host will be having less immunity right it is also known as runt's disease so that is also a true statement a uh, most common cause for graft versus host disease is the stem cell transplantation that is a true statement right so now you can see what is the answer answer is b right so graft versus host disease what you are going to remember host is immunocompetent donor sorry host is immunocompromised host is immunocompromised donor will be having very good immunity so they are immunocompetent and they are also known as runt's disease and most common cause of graft versus host disease is the stem cell transplantation now what is the extra h point what is the extra h point which i wanted to tell you all extra h point is graft versus host disease is most commonly associated with which infection most commonly associated with which infection so what will be answer answer will be cytomegalovirus infection answer will be cytomegalovirus infection let us have a look at this question
Let us have a look at this question. A 12 year old boy brought to the emergency room by his family. Peripheral smear is prepared. And now what is your most likely diagnosis? So this question, if you look at the options, these are basically the leukemia based question, right? And in this, uh, in this question, if you, if you look at the cells, they are not looking like a, a normal lymphocyte or the, you know, uh, myelocyte or CML type of thing. So either it can be AML or it can be a ALL. So how, how we are going to solve this question? So first we have to look for the blast cell. Can you see all these are the blast cell and when you are looking into the blast cell, you have to look into the nuclei and into the cytoplasm. So what we are observing, nuclei is having no nucleoli, no nucleoli and cytoplasm is a granular. Cytoplasm is a granular so no nucleoli and a granular cytoplasm these are the features of the lymphoblastic cells right so these are the features of the lymphoblast right so now you understood so what i am showing you all these cells you can see no nucleoli no granule no nucleoli no granule no nucleoli no nucleoli no granule so these are the lymphoblast right these are the lymphoblast right so what should be right answer all so answer will be all when you are seeing aml aml will be having granular cytoplasm and they will be having they will be having prominent nucleoli cll there will there will be proper history and you can see in this history the age group is 12 year old boy so that 12 year old boy is the catch point for this particular question it's a you know child and child children cll is not seen or very rarely seen right cml can be seen but cml will not be having this kind of picture they will be having myelocyte meta myelocyte means immature neutrophil will be present along with the basophilia and eosinophilia that is why it is not a cml also right so that's all i i just wanted to uh, you know I'll tell you all that it's a very good course, join us and let's crack it.